Paul79 here, I hope you're safe and well. Hope you've all had good weeks. Um, it's probably been a couple of weeks since uh, we last spoke. Um, I've been very busy. Had a bit of a weird one though this week. Um, work's busy, been playing a lot of ping pong. But uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I had a near miss in the white car in the GT3 RS. Um, I was coming home from work and I had a million things on my mind, but um, um, yeah, I was driving and um, it was slightly raining, slightly wet, and yeah, um, this person just pulled out in front of me on a dual carriageway. And uh, I I still, to, not this, to this day, cannot believe he didn't hit me. Um, but all I can say is thank God for the old dash cam because it recorded it. But it really shook me up, to be honest with you. He, he can't have just seen me. I wasn't going that fast at all. Um, and he just pulled across. And you know, it, it's sort of like your life slows down in sort of slow motion. He just went across. And I was just waiting for him to hit like the front wing. Um, but luckily, got away with it. Um, yeah, so... Um, it did sh shake me up a bit and uh, I got it on my dash cam. I'm going to stick it at the end here um, just to show you. Um, but, you know, I got his number plate, but, you know, he sped off. I think he realised, or or she, sorry, they, they sped off. And um, I think they realised what they had done. But, you know, no one was hurt. Everything was fine. So I'm not I'm not going to uh, pursue it. But, um, but, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, that shook me up a bit. Um, I've been playing lots of ping pong, uh, taking Ami to ping pong sort of Monday and Wednesday and I've played uh, Thursday with Bucko, actually filmed it on the old GoPro with like the old uh, big uh, super lens and uh, I might do a little video of that so you can see what I'm like playing ping pong because I talk a lot about ping pong don't I? Um, anyway, um, I have been busy, it's been two weeks and I know I promised the next video would be me doing this <laughs> this uh brake light flasher thing um you can probably tell because it's still in my hand i haven't done it um sorry about that uh i've only actually just finished my garage floor i finished that today you know i uh jeff bezos uh hand delivered the uh the extra four mats that i needed uh and i finished it off over there and it's looking lovely um but yeah the reason um the reason why I have been so sort of busy but not busy on this car is um, I've got a sort of a surprise. Um, I'm not going to say too much, but I have uh, got another project to do once this one's done. And I've sort of been the past couple of weekends sorting that out. Um, so I'm not going to tell you any more um, because we will save it. For another one um, but all i can say is if you can see with this super wide lens i've got a new windscreen on my car and that's all i'm gonna say anyway so um another thing i need to talk about is this lovely t-shirt i'm wearing so you can see there there is a porsche there it's in that sort of blue color that i'm going to be doing this one in and it's got my number plate on there so a big shout out to Dave, who is uh, one of the subscribers. He often comments on the videos um, and he uh, he watched the last video where I talked about the new deadline and um, the fact that I was going to be doing it in this light blue. And, he's, and he does these T-shirts and um, the company is called Cool, cool Art. Um, he hasn't got a website yet, but he's going to have a YouTube channel and a website very soon, I am sure. Um, and yeah, he just uh, messaged me and said, you want one of these? And I said, yeah, all right then. <laughs> Look at that, it's brilliant, I love it. And he also <laughs> did me a mug. So every morning when I have my coffee, when I'm working from home, which isn't that much these days, uh, I have it in my me, uh, me Dave mug. So thank you very much, Dave. It's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Um, another thing we're going to celebrate is we've hit 30,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? I am so, I am so touched. I never thought it, uh, you know, 30,000 people. That's a lot of people. That's like a good, decent sized football stadium full of people. Um, all watching me blabber on about cars and, you know, and such like. Um, so yeah, thank you very much guys. Um, here's to uh, here's to 40,000 um, 
But the reason why I wanted to talk to you today, and I haven't done anything in the car, as I said, and I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to talk to you about my latest um, sort of venture, which is uh, I've, uh, I've entered the world of publishing. So um, JK Rowling, better look out. <laughs> no, she's fine. Uh, <laughs> I've basically, um, I've written or produced or released something called an ebook. Now what this is, this is just a guide um, to, um, so basically I get asked a lot of questions, people send me a lot of messages on Instagram and a lot of the time they ask me the same thing about these cars and how I do it. Normally the number one question is how much is it going to cost me or you. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd create like a document and I've sort of been adding to this over the sort of the past six months and uh, uh, it's basically it's just a no holds barred if that's the right phrase just a guide to how I build these cars yeah you know it's not my company I just do it for fun you know it's not my business but I just get you know just it's sort of like a documentary on how I do it what to look out for, just basically everything. Cause you know what I'm like, I just, I overshare and just tell you everything. So um, yeah, so what I've done is I've actually got this in a document and I've managed to create a little shop on Shopify. I'll put the description, uh, put the link in the description so you can, you can go to the shop and uh, yeah, you can download it for four pounds 99. So that's five British pounds, which let's face it guys, Five British pounds doesn't buy you much these days. It's, you know, it doesn't buy you a pint in London. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth a, a squeeze if you're wanting to um, think, if you're thinking about building one of these cars, it's got everything you need to know, yeah? Everything I've encountered, I've been building cars for over 10 years now, in my spare time. I have a proper job, as you know. And, uh, and yeah, so like, here is the paperback version, right? Um, the colour isn't great, but yeah, look at that, it's huge. Look, like, all those pages. Not really. That's just another book where I've stuck something on there. It's about 30, 40 pages of, of stuff you need to know. And what I do is I break it down into sections, like, you know, so like wiring, headlights, fitting the body kit. And then in those sections, I also have links to the videos that I've done on the YouTube channel. And... Um, <clears throat> Because I know that the whole channel is um, meant to be about helping you build one of these. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if you've got a sort of like a document that you can refer back to and like, you know, reference certain parts, that's often easier. It sort of puts it on a plate for you. Anyway, that's what it is. Five quid. Go buy it, yeah? Um, so before I go, um, I've got to obviously give us a couple of shout outs. I'm going to shout out to Jose and his three beautiful children. They, he's bought the down, uh, the ebook. I gave him a shout out on a few videos ago, but yeah, thank you very much, mate. I hope you enjoy reading it and any feedback, and this applies to anyone, any feedback you want to find or, or get more from the ebook, please let me know. Um, shout out to uh, Laura at work. Um, she's a good friend of mine. Um, known her for a couple of years. Um, she's expecting. I think it's her third child. Um, so best of luck with uh, everything to do with that, uh, Laura uh, JP. Um, a shout out to Murat from Germany. Now Murat sent me a message on Instagram, said saying, "Will you build me one of these?" And I said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my friend, but no, I don't build these for other people. I just build them for myself. Um, and he did seem a bit disappointed. And I said, to soften the blow, I'll give you a shout out. So there you go. Hello, Morat from Germany. Um, and then finally, I need to give a big shout out to uh, my good friend at work, Ersan, and his beautiful wife, Keris. Um, Ersan is a very good friend of mine. I go to lunch with him at work pretty much every day. Um, I do tend to buy him lunch more than he buys me lunch. But anyway, let's not worry about that. He's got a lovely dog called Slim. Good boy, Slim. And um, But yeah, he's um, very, uh, very supportive of the channel. He gives me a lot of ideas of what I want to do or what I should do and stuff like that. He wants to be my PA. Um, 
<laughs> but I'm sorry, Hassan. Um, I'm not earning enough money yet for, for you to give up your day job or my day job. So anyway, but yeah, big shout out to you, mate. Thank you very ever so much for all your uh, your help and support because it's been it's really good. It helps me. It helps me. Um, you know, carry on, so to speak. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited about my new project. Oh. I was on it all last, I was on it all yesterday actually, but I can't say any more, all right? I'm going to do a special uh, feature on this and um, yeah, so ch look out for that next time. Um, anyway, I better go, got to go to work tomorrow. Take care everyone, see you later, bye-bye!